Good morning. Welcome to Guatemala. A few days ago we took, uh, took the bus here from Palenque to Flores and now today we are visiting Tikal. We took the bus at 4.30, yes. 4.30 in the morning. It seems we're getting a bad habit here. <laughs> yeah, we're getting a very bad habit. But it could have been worse. There is also a sunset tour um, that leaves from Flores at 3 in the morning. I mean 3. Sunrise tour though, but... Uh, sunrise tour, yes, sunrise. <laughs> in the middle of the jungle. Making our way down the path from the ticket booth. It's about a 20 minute walk. And then we should get to the main plaza, which has the most important ruins. We were just coming over here to have a small look at this plan to see where the Grand Plaza is, but I think we found it. It's right there. So we are now arriving to the main plaza. Whoa. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> that is so cool. It's very steep. There's an entire complex over there. Wow. And there's no one here. Well, there's like five other people here, but that's almost no one. That's night for scale. Apparently this big temple is the Templo of the Grand Jaguar. So this is the most famous part of the plaza, this temple here, Templo Uno. But Tikal is actually a huge site. Just a few years ago NASA did an infrared scan of the area and it turns out there are over 60,000 buildings here. And only 4,000 of those have been uncovered. So that's almost, that's like 15% or something. That's, no, that's exactly 15%. <laughs> Um, but so it's a huge site and in terms of the amount of buildings that it has, it is actually the biggest Mayan site in Guatemala and the Mayan world. From the central plaza, which is the main ceremonial center of Tikal, we are now going to make our way to Templo Cuatro, which is very famous actually for the view that it has from the top. Star Wars! Star Wars scene. Here's a baby. Spider monkey? Owl monkey? I don't know, something fluffy with four legs in a tree. Apparently this is the highest building at Tikal with uh, 66 meters and is the second highest temple in the Western Hemisphere. We made it to the top and the view is breathtaking. So Tikal is located on a small hill, which you will definitely notice if you come here for a visit because there's a lot of up and down. It's also the reason probably why the Maya wanted to use this as a settlement because it's on high ground. What's really cool about Tikal is that it's in the middle of jungle, so there's plenty of wildlife here to see. You can see jaguars, pumas, monkeys, salamanders. Okay, you, yeah, you can see jaguars and pumas, but you probably won't. Oh my god. Oh no. It's a gardener. It's a gardener. <laughs> in the middle of the jungle. You'll probably see a lot of birds, parrots, pretty cute. You don't see a lot of other people, so it gives you the feeling like you're exploring on your own. We've just seen two groups, and we've been walking around for two or three hours. Yeah, that's pretty cool. It does pay off to take the early bus. I know we're not early birds and maybe you aren't either, but just take the, just take the early bus. Because if you take the bus, the next one, so we do one at 4.30, the next one is at 8. You'll be here around 10. I think around 10 at the entrance there will be a lot of people, so it's probably worth it to be in time. I don't see any people. I'm not getting up anymore in the morning. Yes, you are. Like that. And what's also pretty cool is that you can climb most of the temples here. So we are now at the Plaza de los Siete Templos. And you can see here all around behind me, there are like smaller structures. And it's cool when you have a lot of these like smaller ruins close to each other. Here you have the seven temples. One, two, three, four, big one in the middle, five, six, 
Seven. They're lined up from north to south. And there's a bunch of all other temples surrounding it, so maybe I should have called it Plaza of the, I don't know, 12 or 15 temples, but... It's a much more original name. The Maya came to Tikal around 700 uh, AC. Yeah, they came around 700 AC, DC, I think. <laughs> I'm on a highway to hell. Tikal, to Tikal. Um, so, 700 BC. Oh, didn't get much sleep. I mean, forgive me. Around 250, they started the construction on what is now the central plaza. Um, and it was a very powerful civilization, mostly because of the link also with Teotihuacan in Mexico. And then in 900, the Tikal Empire actually collapsed along with the mysterious collapse of the entire Mayan civilization so people don't actually know how it happened. There are a number of hypotheses which include disease, I think some include aliens as well, some include floodings or natural disasters but no one really knows what happened. So after visiting various of the famous Mayan sites like Tulum, Chichen Itza, Uxmal, Palenque as well as Tikal, Palenque is my favorite one with Tikal a close second. They're both very different. Um, Palenque is also situated in the jungle, but it looks a bit different. And Palenque is a lot smaller. I would say Palenque is nicer in a way because the buildings are more have more variety. Here it's like a certain shape of building and you can expect to see it many times all over the sites. So that's it for this video. We really enjoyed uh, exploring in Tikal. If you enjoyed it, please like our video. Leave us a comment and subscribe for more because we are still traveling through a six month journey in Latin America. We have started in Mexico. If you have not seen the Mexico videos, go check them out. We'll link them down below. We're now visiting Guatemala, going to Honduras, Colombia and Brazil. So plenty more to come. Subscribe and we will see you very soon. Bye. Have a nice day.